So I received this pattern as a present and I wanted to do this crochet tutorial and since I love this Harry Potter so I would love to make a tutorial out of this and for you also if you want to learn more about this dragon and this pattern is from Lucy Cullen. Well for the materials we're going to need light worsted yarn in green, black embroidery floss for mouth and nostrils, stuffing so now if you don't have for stuffing you can use a cotton and cut it in pieces then you can use it as a substitute and then pair of black safety eyes this is seven millimeter and then 3.5 millimeter hook which is e and then tapestry needle and then stitch marker so my first amigurumi i make this one dobby the house elf so if you want to know how i make this i will put the link in the description box below this is 100 percent cotton 50 gram 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter hook which is perfect for our requirements here 3.5 millimeter hook color 22 round one we're going to make a slip knot and then chain two one and two and then six single crochet into the first chain so count one and two go to the first chain insert your hook yarn over and pull yarn over pull through two loops in your hook that's our first single crochet and insert your hook in the same stitch this one here the first chain and make five more single crochet so you should have six single crochet in total in that stitch in the first chain you have made so one two three four five and last one six so I have here a chain of six and then round two I'm going to two single crochet in the next stitch two single crochet here in the next stitch this one this is our first single crochet place two single crochet one but before you move on grab your stitch marker and then place that in the first single crochet now we begin round two this is our round two beginning and then insert your hook in the same stitch place another one single crochet and then we're going to make single crochet into the next two stitches go into the next stitch one single crochet go into the next and place one single crochet repeat that two times so two single crochet in the next stitch one place one single crochet in the same stitch two one single crochet in the next two stitches so one go to the next and again repeat one single crochet in that stitch so you should have eight stitches in total round three two single crochet in next stitch so go to the marker place two single crochet as you can see we are increasing here one insert your hook in the same stitch and two go to the first single crochet you have made and i will place it here so go to the first single crochet this is now round three and then single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three repeat that two times so two single crochet in the next stitch one and in the same stitch two three single crochet in the next three stitches one go to the next two and go to the next three and this is for our round three count your stitch and you should have 10 stitches in total round four two single crochet in the next stitch we are increasing here that's why we always start so place two single crochet here in the marker so one and before you move on grab another grab another stitch marker and place that in the first single crochet you just made and this is the beginning of our round four where the pink marker is place another one single crochet 
and then in the next four stitches we're going to make one single crochet each so one go to the next two go to the next three go to the next and four so we're going to repeat that one more time two single crochet in the next stitch one and two and then four single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and last one four so round four we should have 12 stitches in total now round five go into the white stitch insert your head place two single crochet one and two and then three single crochet in the next three stitches but first place a stitch marker in the first single crochet we made this is the beginning of our round five now go to the next stitch place one single crochet go to the next place one single crochet go to the next place one single crochet and then we're going to repeat that all the way around one two three single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three two single crochet in the next stitch to repeat one two and three single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three so round five we should have 15 stitches in total this is the beginning of our round six insert your hook in the white stitch one single crochet there grab a marker place that there and work one single crochet per stitches all the way around and you should have 15 stitches in total this is my last stitch in round six place one single crochet so we have 15 single crochet in total in round six now begin round seven make single crochet in the next five stitches so insert your hook in that stitch where the marker is place one single crochet and one single crochet in each of the next four stitches so that's one two three four and last one five so five single crochet in the next stitch we're going to make the horn which is we're going to make three double crochet popcorn in each of the next two stitches like this so yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over grab that yarn and pull yarn over pull through two loops in your hook only two loops only like that so you should have two loops left in your hook we're going to repeat that two more times so yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch yarn over and grab that yarn then yarn over and pull through two loops again and yarn over repeat insert your hook in the same stitch grab that yarn and pull yarn over and pull through two loops again so we did that three more times three total i mean so one two and three so you should have four loops in your hook and once you have that yarn over and pull through the rest of that loops in your hook and we're going to repeat that in the next stitch and this is your popcorn should look like repeat that in the next stitch one two and last one three yarn over pull through all that loops in your hook and this is how it look like and then now we're going to make a single crochet in the next two stitches so go to the next insert your hook make one single crochet go to the next insert your hook make one single crochet and then popcorn again we're going to repeat this one again the popcorn so yarn over make a popcorn 
one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all the loops in your hook. Repeat in the next stitch. One, two, and three. Four loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops. And then single crochet in the next four stitches. One, go to the next, two, go to the next, three, and go to the next, four. You should have 15 stitches in total in round seven. So now we're going to put a stuff in the nose. Once you're done putting the stuff inside the nose, and then now we're going to make to fit the eyes between round four and round five in line with the outer horns. So if you're lost, make sure you have four single crochet here after this one here, after the puff stitch. So one, two, three, and four single crochet. And then make sure you have 15 stitches in total in round 7. Round 8, single crochet in next 2 stitches. Go to the next stitch. 1 single crochet. And before you go, take the marker and put it there in the stitch you just made. That is the beginning of our round 8. Go to the next stitch, make 1 single crochet then go to the next two stitches and make it as a one stitch single crochet two together insert your hook there yarn over and pull go to the next stitch yarn over and pull three loops in your hook yarn over pull through all that loops in your hook and after that single crochet in the next three stitches one go to the next Place one single crochet, two, go to the next, place one single crochet, and three. And then single crochet two together, one, so you have in the next stitch, yarn over, and three loops in your head, yarn over, pull through all that loops. We are decreasing. Single crochet in the next three stitches. One. Go two. Go to the next stitch. And three. Decrease. Insert your hook there. Grab that yarn and pull. Go to the next. Insert your hook. Grab that yarn and pull. Three loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops in your hook to decrease. One single crochet in the next stitch. Make sure you count the number of stitches. Round nine, two single crochet in each of next two stitches. So insert your hook where the marker is, place two single crochet. One. And in the same stitch, place another single crochet, two. Grab a marker, place it in the first single crochet you made. And then go to the next stitch, place another two single crochet there in that stitch alone. So one, go in the same stitch, another one single crochet. Now single crochet next three stitches. single crochet two together and repeat again go and now single crochet in the next three stitches so you should have 12 stitches in total for round nine Round 10, we're going to make single crochet in the next stitch. Where your marker is, place one single crochet there. And this is the beginning of our round. Then grab that stitch marker and place it there. 
to the stitch you just made. Now two single crochet in each of next two stitch. Next stitch, place two single crochet one and two. Go to the next, place two single crochet again one and two. And now single crochet in next three stitch. Single crochet two together two times. Now one single crochet in each of the next two stitch. So one. Go to the next and place one single crochet again. 12 stitches in total around 10. This is our head of the dragon. We're creating the neck area at the moment. On to 11, we're going to make single crochet next two stitch. So go where your marker is, insert your hook, place one single crochet. Before you continue, grab a stitch marker and place it there in the stitch you just made. That is our round 11. Go to the next stitch, place one single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet in each of next two stitches. This time increase, go to the next stitch, place two single crochet. Go to the next, place two single crochet. Two single crochet. And now single crochet in the next three stitches. After that, decrease single crochet two together. Two times. Go to the next yarn over and pull. Go to the next yarn over and pull. Three loops in your head, yarn over, pull through all. And repeat that. And to the next stitch, yarn over, pull. Go to the next yarn over and pull. Yarn over, pull through all. And then single crochet in the next stitch. And again, you should have 12 stitches in total. Round 12, single crochet next three stitches. Insert your hook where the marker is. This is the beginning of our round 12. Grab that marker and place it there. One single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. And after that, two single crochet in each of next two stitches. Now this time, increase. One, and in the same stitch, two. Repeat, two single crochet in the next stitch, two. And now single crochet in the next three stitches. One, go to the next, two, go to the next, three. Now we're going to decrease two times. Set your in the next stitch, yarn over and pull, and set your in the next, yarn over and pull, yarn over, pull through all. Repeat, set your in the next stitch, yarn over and pull, and set your in the next, yarn over and pull, yarn over, pull through all. 12 stitches in total for round 12. Now we're going to stuff head and sew a mouth and nostrils. Round 13 and 14, we're going to make one single crochet in each of the stitch around. Go to the next stitch and one single crochet. And then place your marker there. This is the beginning of our stitch in round 13. Two, three. So make one single crochet per stitches. Round 15, two single crochet next stitch where the marker is. one and in the same stitch two grab that stitch marker and place it in the first single crochet you just made it's the beginning of our round 15 and then three single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three 
repeat three you should have 15 stitches in total for round 15 and now round 16 single crochet in each stitch around and 15 stitches total one grab a stitch marker place it in the single crochet you just made one single crochet in each stitch around two three round 17 two single crochet in next stitch where the marker is one and in the same stitch another single crochet two grab a stitch marker and place it in the first single crochet as the beginning of our round 17 four single crochet in the next four stitches repeat to 18 stitches total round 17 round 18 to round 23 six rounds single crochet in each stitch around 18 stitches in total go to the next stitch one grab your stitch marker that is the beginning of our round 18 two three and this is how it looked like after i made a six rows of one single crochet first stitches so stuff neck and body and continue stuffing body and tail as you go along so round 24 single crochet two together go to the stitch marker insert your hook yarn over and pull go to the next insert your hook yarn over and pull we're going to decrease three loops in your hook yarn over pull through all grab a stitch marker and place the stitch marker in the stitch you just made this one on the top single crochet in the next four stitches repeat that all the way around last one four so round 24 you should have 15 stitches in total round 25 single crochet in each stitch around total of 15 stitches and 15 round 26 single crochet two together we're going to decrease go to the stitch marker insert your hook yarn over and pull go to the next insert your hook yarn over and pull yarn over pull through all grab a stitch marker and place that in the stitch you just made that's the beginning of our round 26 now single crochet next three stitches repeat that all the way around and last one three and now round 27 so round 26 you should have 12 stitches in total round 27 single crochet in each stitch around go to the stitch marker insert your hook place one single crochet grab a stitch marker place that in the stitch you just made and one single crochet per stitches all the way around total of 12 stitches round 28 single crochet two together decrease insert your hook where the stitch marker is yarn over and pull go to the next insert your hook yarn over and pull yarn over pull through all grab a stitch marker and place it in the stitch you just made and then after that we're going to make single crochet in next two stitch one and go to the next two repeat that all the way around nine stitches in total for round 28 round 29 to 33 which is five round single crochet in each round and in each stitch you should have nine stitches round 34 we're going to make a decrease single crochet two together so insert your hook in the stitch marker yarn over and pull insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over and pull 
Yarn over both through all the three loops in your hook. Take out that stitch marker and place it on the top. Make single crochet in seven stitches. One. Single crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, go to the next, go to the next, three, go to the next, four, go to the next, five, go to the next, six, and the last one. Seven. So you should have eight stitches in total in round 34. And now round 35 to round 39, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around. So you should have 8 stitches in total in each round. Go to the stitch marker, one single crochet there. Take out that stitch and place it in the stitch you just made. Go to the next, place one single crochet and make one single crochet per stitches all the way around for 5 rows. So now round 40, single crochet 2 together, decrease. So yarn over and pull. Go to the next, insert your hook, yarn over and pull. Yarn over, pull through all. Take out that stitch marker and place it in the stitch you just made. Single crochet in next 6 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and last one, 6. I have 7 stitches in total. Round 41 to 45, we're going to make single crochet in each stitch around. So go to the stitch marker. Yarn over, make 1 single crochet. Take that stitch marker and place it in the stitch you just made. And make one single crochet per stitches all the way around for 5 rows. And you should have 7 stitches in each round. On 46, we're going to make single crochet 2 together. And then one single crochet per stitches. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. So you should have six stitches in total for round 46. Round 47 to round 51 for five rounds. Single crochet in each stitch around. And in each round, you should have six stitches in total. This is this your work should look like by now? Once you're done, chain one, pull tight, pull it a bit higher, and cut the yarn. Tight. Now make a slip knot and chain one nine nineteen one. Two. Now go to the second chain from your hook. So let's count one, two. Insert your hook, place one single crochet there, and then one single crochet in next stitch. Three single crochet in next chain. Insert your hook in the next chain, place three single crochet there. So one, insert your hook in the same chain, two. Insert your hook in the same chain, 3, single crochet in next 7 chain, and last one, 7. Skip the next chain and single crochet in next 6 chain. So skip this chain here and go to the next 1, and last one, 6. Now slip stitch in next chain the last chain make a slip stitch yarn over pull and pull through in that loop in your hook that is a slip stitch this is for your round one chain one and turn to begin round two and skip the first stitch this one here then go to the next I'm going to place single crochet in next six stitches one single crochet each in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twen
and last one six skip the next stitch and jump to the next and place seven stitches in the next se seven stitches so one single crochet in the next seven stitches so one two go to one seven two single crochet in the next stitch then place one single crochet in the last three stitch and this is your round two should look like round three chain one and turn so single crochet in next 12 stitches one and 12 skip the next stitch and make five one double crochet in the next five stitches so one and last one five chain one and turn this is your what should look like on three on four single crochet next five stitches one and last one five Skip the next stitch and single crochet next 11 stitches. Skip the next and go to the next and last one 11. This is your what should look like in round four. Chain one and turn. Begin round five. Slip stitch in next four stitches. Stitch yarn over and pull and pull through in that loop in the hook that is a slip stitch so four slip stitch in total go crochet in the next six stitches one and last one six after that skip the next stitch and single crochet in next five stitches skip the next stitch go to the next and one single crochet each until the last stitch two this is your work should look like in round five chain two one two and turn and six slip stitch in second chain from the hook one two go to the chain yarn over and slip stitch single crochet in the next four stitches go to the first stitch this one and last one four skip the next stitch and go to the next three stitches place one single crochet each and last one three chain two one two slip stitch in second chain from the hook so one two insert your hook yarn over and pull through you just repeat the beginning here then after that single crochet in the next stitch here and then slip stitch in the next six stitches so one and last one six and this is your work should look like in round six now we're going to finish off leaving length of yarn chain one pull tight about seven inches and here we have two wings make a slip knot chain 13 to begin one two skip the first chain and go to the next make a slip stitch And repeat that 11 more times last one 11 so we have 12 slip stitch in total and now chain one and turn 12 single crochet in the next 12 stitches but one and now we're going to make one single crochet per stitches 12 times one two 
Now we're going to slip stitch between back loop of each single crochet and the loops form along the bottom to join edges together. So insert your hook there in the first stitch in the back loop. Yarn over and slip stitch. Go to the next and do that per stitches. Put your hook here in this one and make a slip stitch just to join them together. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Go to the second chain from the hook. One, two, enter you insert your hook, make a slip stitch. One and go to the next two. Repeat chain three, one, two, and three, and repeat. Go to the second chain from your hook, make a slip stitch, and in the first chain as well. Then slip stitch into the first chain of first chain three. So this one here, this is the first chain three, and go to the first chain, insert your hook, make a slip stitch. There. Then finish off chain one, pull tight and pull it a bit higher and cut the yarn like that. Grab the other wings and place it like this and we're going to put this on the top and we're gonna sew that together so I will insert my hook here sticking out the cloth this is our cloth and then insert your hook here and insert your hook in the edge here in the middle and this one here and yarn over and pull and then repeat in each stitch just like that you can use a needle but for me I use the hook and then go to the next and until the end and now I will sew that one more time here in the end so it will be more down so I will just go here and I stitch that together there and there the edges and then I will go all the way here and this is your work should look like so it is in the same area here so we will put this under that and then it is in the same it is balanced to the other side with the one sticking out the cloth so it's gonna be like that so make sure it is not twisted now we're going to attach the wings making sure this one is in the bottom and here on the top is clean it's up to you where you start do this I will just sew like this and it's up to you how you want to sew yours just secure the stitch and then hide the remaining stitch and there you go this is how it looks like at the moment it's so nice because so now we're going to make the back legs use the same yarn make a slip knot to begin chain two one and two go to the first chain insert your hook make six single crochet in that first chain one two three four five and last one six and this is for round one round two two single crochet in the next stitch so go to the first single crochet you just made 
place two single crochet there so one before you move on grab your marker and place it in the stitch you just made now place another one single crochet in the same stitch slip stitch in the next stitch here yarn over and make a slip stitch chain two one two slip stitch in second chain from the hook so one two insert your hook make a slip stitch just like that repeat that go to the next stitch yarn over make a slip stitch again repeat chain two make a slip stitch in the second chain from your hook and then slip stitch in the same stitch here slip stitch in the next stitch chain two and repeat make one single crochet and slip stitch in the second chain from your hook and then in the same stitch make a slip stitch and this is for your claw now make a single crochet in the next two stitches one go to the next make one single crochet go to the next make one single crochet you should have nine stitches in total for round three we're going to skip the first two stitches and go to the next where we begin our slip stitch insert your hook make one single crochet but first we're gonna make like this insert your hook make one single crochet and then go to the next put this one behind of this claw this yarn behind that should be behind this first claw and then go to the stitch this one here you can see better this one one two we have two stitches here don't take this one but here and this one this one then make one single crochet making sure the claw is behind go to the next stitch make one single crochet so we should have three stitches by now and i will put the marker here this is the beginning of our stitch of round three and then repeat in the next one the claw should be in the front and then the yarn you're working with should be behind it and then go in the neck in this stitch we should have two stitches here we're going to take this one this is our fourth single crochet fourth stitch I mean go to the next which is this one place one single crochet and then repeat in the last claw should be in the front and this one the yarn you're working with should be behind and then go to the next stitch which is oops sorry and then take this stitch here and make one single crochet and as well as in the next stitch which is this one here one single crochet and then one single crochet in the next one and this is how it look like just to put this claw up so you can see the results so we should have nine stitches in total so one two three four five six seven eight and nine so i think i lost one stitch but if you do also i will just add one stitch here to have nine stitches in total in the end it doesn't matter you can have it anywhere there and this is how it should look like 
so let's count again one two three four five six seven eight nine i think i missed one stitch but now we have nine stitches in total which is the right number of stitch in the end and now we're going to repeat that one more time go to the marker insert your hook place one single crochet take out that stitch marker and place it to the stitch you just made and one single crochet per stitches all the way around on the top of the single crochet in the previous round and a total of nine stitches in round four Round 5, single crochet in next 2 stitch 1 Take out that marker and place it in the stitch you just made This is the beginning of our round 5 And then go to the next, place 1 single crochet And now decrease single crochet 2 together Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull Insert your hook in the next, yarn over, pull, yarn over, pull through 3 loops in your hook. And then we're going to repeat that 3 times. 2 more times now. 3 decrease in total. This is number 2. And last one. 1 and 2. That's 3. And then single crochet in the last stitch. So we decrease three times in round five. So we should have six stitches in total. Now round six, single crochet in each stitch around. So go to the marker, place your one single crochet, they got that stitch marker and place it in the stitch you just made so one two three four five and last one six and now we're going to and you should have six stitches total around seven single crochet in the next two stitches go to the stitch marker insert your hook place one single crochet take out that stitch marker place it in the stitch you just made and one single crochet in the next stitch we are now round seven two single crochet in each of the next three stitches Two single crochet in each of the next three stitch okay so increase one in the same stitch two go to the next and repeat one and in the same stitch two one single crochet in the last stitch and in round seven we should have nine stitches in total round eight and nine for two rounds, single crochet in each stitch around. One single crochet per stitches. Take out that stitch marker and place it in the stitch you just made. And then place one single crochet per stitches all the way around. And now slip stitch in the next two stitches. Go to the stitch marker, yarn over and slip stitch. Take out that stitch marker, go to the next, slip stitch again. Chain 1, pull tight, leaving a length of... Finished. And now we're going to sew the underside of the body, just behind the back edge of the wings. This one here, the back edge. And attach. 